Good morning, Grade 3. I welcome you to a brand new social studies lesson. Today, we are going to read about people that brought about change in the world. So, the objective of today's lesson is to identify people who brought about these changes. Let's begin reading. Great, so the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to read about working for suffrage and suffrage basically means uh, the, the right to vote. So let's have a closer look at what is this about. Great, so working for suffrage. People also use ideas to change communities. Many have worked to make sure that everyone has the same rights or freedoms. United States citizens have the right to vote. Now we know what work means, right? To vote is to make a choice that gets counted. In the early 1900s, women could not vote. So there was this lady called Susan B. Anthony who believed that this should change. In the mid 1800s, she and Elizabeth Cady Stanton set up groups of people to work for women's suffrage. Suffrage is the right to vote. People printed slogans or short sayings on buttons and signs to tell the message. They held meetings and talked to people about the importance of giving suffrage to women. Finally, in 1920, women won the right to vote. So, main idea and details. If I ask you a question, you should be able to answer it. And the question I have for you is, when did women win the right to vote? So, you should know the answer. They won the right to vote in 1920. Great. This is a picture from your book. That's Susan B. Anthony right there below left. And on this side, you can see women who worked with her. On this page, we are going to learn about some great personalities uh, and we're going to see how there are people who worked for equality. So this title right here is Working for Equality. Let's begin reading. In the 1900s, many worked for equality or equal treatment for all people. Both Mohandas Gandhi and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. believed that everyone should have the same rights. So we're going to look into two uh, very famous people, uh, Mohandas Gandhi and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Let's, let's read about Mohandas Gandhi. Gandhi wanted people in India to have freedom. At the time, India was ruled by Britain. Britain's leaders made the laws for India. Many people were not treated fairly or equally. Instead of fighting, Gandhi used peaceful actions to work for equality. He did not want people to hurt others. He led marches and refused to follow laws that he felt were wrong. In 1947, India became its own country. Gandhi had helped the people of India become free. Great, and on this side you can see uh, Mahatma Gandhi's uh, statue. He was a leader for equality in India. Next, we're going to read about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. who also worked for equality. So, let's read. Dr. Martin Luther Jun King Jr. believed that laws should treat all people equally. The rights to be treated equally are called civil rights. In Dr. King's lifetime, laws in the United States separated people. For example, African Americans could not go to the same schools as white people. Dr. King led peaceful marches and spoke against unfair laws. In the 1960s, laws were passed to support equality. Great, so this is about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And down below here we have compare and contrast. So if you have to compare and contrast, we're going to look at similarities and the differences between these two personalities. So what did Gandhi and Dr. King do that was the same? What did they both do? You could answer it, you could try to answer it, you could pause the video, go back and vote. And the answer is they both fought for uh, rights in their communities and the way they did was uh, through peaceful marches so in a very peaceful way they fought for their rights for equality and the difference is that Mahatma Gandhi did that in India for people in India and Dr. King did it in the United States for African Americans great so 
please pause this video and read the summary that's down below on this page that you see right now. Now, now that we've learned the lesson, we are going to try attempting page 45 in your practice book. So please open up your practice book to page number 45, read these statements out and try to answer them. You can always go back and forth from this point on to check if your answers are correct. You can read, reread, give it a second read and answer. And then in a few minutes, I am going to share the answers with you. Great, so try. Now I'm assuming that you passed the video and you tried answering these uh, questions, uh, these statements, and let's see if you got them right. So you had to look at the pictures, you had to look at these uh, famous personalities and you had to um, write their names under the correct uh, description. Let's see if you got them right. Great, good job. So the person who invented locomotive um, uh, engines and helped the British uh, community was George Stevenson. And the person who built the first metal frame skyscraper that uh, helped people living in the cities with the congestion was William Jenner. And the woman who held a woman gain the right to vote, which is also known as suffrage, was Susan B. Anthony. And the person who had peaceful actions that helped India become an independent country was Mohandas Gandhi. And the person who held African Americans gain their civil rights was uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Good job, grade three. Now, please complete today's assignment. You can reread this lesson, rehear the audio clip if you wish to. Finish your work in your SSD practice book. And do not leave, uh, do not forget to leave a comment in the e-discussions if you have any queries. Mr. Fleck, grade three.